Shabbat Shalom. Happy Shabbat Eve. Okay, y'all ready? We're going to sing some songs. We're going to do some praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Happy Feast of Tabernacles. This is the season where the Most High wants to commune with us. Hallelujah. He wants to tabernacle with us. He wants us to dwell with him. And this is something that we need to praise him and honor him for. Right. Y'all need to fix the cameras? Something? You yeah. Just speak. Tell him what he needs to do before we get started. Zoom in. Zoom in.
And we are living every day. Hallelujah. Anaknu Shaolin. We are asking. La et ha ruaka. For thy spirit. Bavakwa Shayaho. Please, Yahweh. Tish poke et ruaka. Pour out thy spirit. Alenu. Upon us. Ma'al Roshenu. From our heads. Ma'ad Raglenu. To our feet. Amen. Watain la nu ruko period. And give us the spirit. The fruits of the spirit. Hallelujah. Kohazma. All the time. Salak la nu. Forgive us. Ki asinu ra'in kohazma. For we have done evil all the time. Aval ata el rakum. But thou art a God of mercy. Hallelujah. Barakats ta nu madanka hakaves. And thou shalt wash us in thy blood, the blood of the sheep. Amen. Cain. Anaknu semar king leshevet betok hasuko al et halayla haze. We are rejoicing to dwell in the tabernacle this night. Amen. Torah Yehovah. For Amen. We'll call uh uh Nebi Nebiaka. All our prophets. We'll call Shilikeka. All our prophets. Amen. We'll call Ha uh Quedoshin. All the saints. We'll call Ha Bakorin. All the chosen. Hallelujah. Ketov uh the Barka Al the Bavin. Write thy word upon our hearts. With the Shev Itanu Al El Halala Haze. And dwell with us this night. Amen. With Yom Yom. And every day. Hallelujah. Tiberek Ko Mishpaka Yisrael. Bless all the families of Israel. With Ko Pehelo Yisrael. And all the congregations of Israel. With Ko Makane Yisrael. And all the camps of Israel. With Ko Benay Yisrael. And all the children of Israel. We'll call by note Israel. And all the daughters of Israel. Call by note Zion. All the daughters of Zion. Tain lahen semakin. Give to them joy. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll tain la call on Sheka. And give to all thy men. Koa gado. Great strength. Hallelujah. Hoshienu. Save us. Mayad ha oivenu. From the hands of our enemies. Amen, amen. Pertain la nu shalom ka. And give us our peace. Torah yeho ola ko divari. Thank you, Yehovah, for all things. Akshal tami leon wayed. Now, continually, forever and ever. Bashem Yehosha HaMashiach. In the name of Yehosha HaMashiach. Hallelujah. 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 Hello, family. Hallelujah. We are so honored and grateful to be here on this Holy Shabbat day during the Feast of Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. We are so excited to have all of our family that is here in the house. Let me hear a big shout Very blessed time. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. And uh, we even had an opportunity for all the family to dwell to, to sleep in the tents. Yes, how y'all like sleeping in the tabernacle? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we did it together, right? Yes. Hallelujah. We slept and camped out yes. in the tent. Hallelujah. Getting ready for this wilderness, y'all. Yeah. These co these commandments and these feasts prepare us for his return. Yeah. Right. How about that? Hallelujah. Yeah. Did, did y'all ever learn that in church? No. You ever learn this in church? No. No? No. You But the word is, is practical. Mm -hmm. It's it's timeless. Mm -hmm. It's timeless. Mm -hmm. It never ends. And even in these last days, it's even more significant than it was back then. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 H
So we want to remind you that you can support the ministry. You can visit our website, www.kaiyeshua.com. Select tithes and offerings and click the yellow donate button. And there you may give your tithes, your alms, your offerings, however the Most High leads you. We want to say thank you. Thank you so much to each and every one of you that support us, especially those who support us on a regular basis. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a part of why we are able to do what we do in, in serving the people, feeding the people, Amen. spiritual food, and physical food. Hallelujah. 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 So we just. How's the food been? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, excuse me. Would, would anybody like to comment on that fried chicken that he was talking about? <laughs> <laughs> would you like to come over and comment on that fried chicken? <laughs> <laughs> fried chicken. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Let me tell you something. That fried chicken <laughs> was so delicious. I had a very huge piece and it was juicy all the way to the bone. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and not to mention it had a sweet, sweet taste to it. Went, after you chew it, you, the, 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 the sweet taste is a savory. It's a, it's a sweet, sweet savory in your mouth. <laughs> but how'd y'all like that lamb though? <laughs> How'd y'all like that bread? Y'all like that bread? Yeah. Y'all like them? Yeah. Y'all know how to say bread? Like them. Y'all like that bread? Yeah. 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 Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so we just want to again remind you about supporting the ministry. The website, Kayashua.com, Cash App, Dollar Sign, Kayashua, and Zell, Kayashua at gmail.com. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> all right, Amen. family, and we want to um, say Shabbat Shalom to all of you guys that have tuned in on the Shabbat Eve, because you could have been anywhere, and we don't even normally go live on Shabbat Eve, mm -hmm. so we are grateful that you have tuned in to fellowship with us, yeah. and God Amen. bless you, and give you the very desires of your heart. Shabbat Amen. Shalom, our sister, um, Saratia, Shabbat Shalom, hey. sis. Shabbat Shalom to Iris Davis. Shabbat Shalom um, Tremaine, to uh, Brother Tremaine and the Hood family. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to Keisha L. Shabbat Shalom to Brother Marcus and his wife, Sister Nakia Brooks. Shabbat Shalom to Ahava Walters. Shabbat Shalom to our beloved Sister Christelia and the boys. Shabbat Shalom to all of you guys. Um, Shabbat Shalom to Israel Lewis and Cal 617. Shabbat Shalom to Der Or um, Israel. Shabbat Shalom to um, the prophet of Baba Kuya. Mm -hmm. Shabbat Shalom to Yashan Benjamin. Shabbat Shalom to Debray Howard. Shabbat Shalom to Dewand. Shabbat Shalom to Brother Kenya. Shabbat Shalom to uh, Mitt um, over in the UK. Amen, amen. His congregation and um, um, his elder, Phil. Shabbat amen. Shalom to you. Shabbat Shalom to James Milton Holmes yes. Jr. Shabbat Shalom to Lisa Carson. Shabbat Shalom to the people in the house. Just like I know who we got in the house. Yes. In the building, amen. we have yeah. our, our normal, usual chefs. Um, Shabbat Shalom to Brother Dartagus and his wife. Um, Sister Pamela. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom to Brother Gaelia that was up here talking about that juicy piece of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and his wife, Sister Tagelia. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. And, and their lovely daughter, Janiah. Shabbat shalom. Her birthday is the same day as mine. Shabbat shalom to our beloved Sister uh, Zuban. Shabbat shalom, lovely. Wow. Shabbat shalom to Emma Shamaria. And Shabbat Shalom to Ima Samaya. Amen. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to Brother Zakaya back there. Amen. And his wife, Sister Felicia. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom family. Shabbat Shalom to the well-known, been around for a long time, 
Big Brother Irene. Amen. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom to um, our sons, Eliezer, Yashir, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Back, Amen. And Nasi. Shabbat and Shabbat Shalom to uh, our uh, Mikael. And our newest, newest member of the family. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom to Hallelujah. Brother Charles. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. All right. We're going to read the words of your host, Hamashiach. Well, we already know that we're celebrating in the midst of the uh, Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot, in the seventh month, known as Tishrei. Okay. Shabbat Shalom, we Brother Yaya, our family, and um, Sister Lisa. Hallelujah. Gee, what's up? Shabbat Shalom. Amen. Gee. <laughs> Good to see you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can't wait to see you. Hallelujah. Exactly. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hey, Praise Sister Lisa God. and the baby. Congratulations. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. We're at the Tabernacles. We made it, y'all. Yes. Hallelujah. Isn't that? That's where we are. Feast of Tabernacles. We are. Let's see. Tishrei, the, the 16th, okay, which is the 1st of October, okay. So, the Feast of Tabernacles will end next Wednesday evening into Thursday all day. That will be the end of Sukkot, okay? So, that's where we are. And next week on the third day, Yom Shilishi is, I would say, third day in Hebrew, Okay, Yom Shilishi, which is Tuesday, will be the martyrdom of St. Matthew. Oh, wow. So that will be right before the last day, starts of Tabernacles. So, Matit Yahu, who wrote the Gospel of Matthew. Hallelujah. All right. All right, we're going to turn to the book of Revelations in the Testament of Yahshua, chapter 3. Revelation 3 and 18. Yes. Okay. Revelation 3 and 18. Iatska. I counsel you from um, the word ats, which means counsel. Okay. Iatska lick note. I counsel you to buy or to purchase. May et zahab zaruf. I counsel you to buy from me zahab. Y'all know what zahab means? Zahab. That's from Ahab, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Gold. Mm -hmm. Zahab. Gold. I counsel thee to buy gold, Zaruf, refined by Esh in the fire. <coughs> Lema'an ta'ashir, so that you might be rich. Uv begadin, Lebanin, begadin, begadin equals clothes. Okay, begadin. That's how you say clothing. That you may be rich with begadin, Lebanin, and you will have white garments or white clothing. Lemaan, so that. 
Tikkah say by him, so that you should be covered with him. Walo tera a boshet, and so that your shame will not be seen. Irwateka, or your nakedness, will quilorit le tet al eneka, and something to give to your eyes. I think that's probably eye salve for your eyes. Lemaan ter a, so that you might be able to see. Okay, read that. The book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. Read that one more time. Please. It's very important. This is for the last days. For the last days. This assembly is the assembly of Laodicea. Okay? Which he had the sternest warning for. So, these seven churches represent seven spirit groups or seven soul groups. But it also represents kind of like the last age. Okay, so read it again. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. So the things that we should be spending our money on after our bills are paid should pertain to building God's kingdom. Things that will help you grow in spirit and in truth. So he counsels us. He's suggesting that we use our time our energy and our resources wisely in the last days. Go ahead. And white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. This is not the time for us to be, you know, out in the world seeking our own lust of the flesh. This is the time to withdraw from the world and seek Yah with all our heart, all our soul, and all of our might. And anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. So we're living in an age where everyone thinks they're knowledgeable and everyone thinks they're wise. But all of us need to take the eye salve and wash our eyes out and cleanse our eye gates and be careful what we put in front of us to see. Because whatever we put in our eye gates will feed our soul for good or for evil. Okay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, verse 19. Ani, I, et ko asher ehav, o kiak. All, everyone that I love, I chastise. Everyone that I love, I rebuke. So, that's it. everyone that the Father loves, he's going to give correction to. So, when we receive correction, we should take it with a good heart. And not be offended or not be upset. Hallelujah. Wow. Well, I, well, I, Yasir, the king, Tishko Watashu. Go ahead, read. Verse 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Mm. What does it mean to be zealous? Mm. Going hard in the paint. Did you used to turn up in the world? <clears throat> well, for the things of the Most High Yah, we should really be turning up high right now. Yes. We see what's going on right now. Isn't Satan turning up? Yes. He's making these things mandatory, and we know what is, he's trying to lead up to. He's going hard. He doesn't even care what anyone thinks about it anymore. He's just doing it. So are we going to match that intensity? 
times 10. We should surpass that intensity that the adversary has against us. So we should be zealous in these last days, not just blah, you know, mediocre, average. We should be going hard. We should be serving him with the best that we have in us. Hallelujah. Verse 20. Behold, I stand, I'm standing at the door. With Dofek Wahaya. Ki Yishma Ish Le Koli. Dofek. I tell you there, Dofek. All right, we're going to look up this word real quick. Knock. Cain, knock. That sounds about right. I knock, dafak, to beat, to press severely, to knock, to go overdrive. Wow. Mm. Hini, behold, I, Omeds, I'm standing, but Petak, at the door, with Dofek, and I'm knocking. Bahaya. And it shall be Ki Yishma Ish Lequali if a man shall hear my voice. Upataka Petak and open the opening or open the door. Abo, I will enter Alayo unto him with Sa'ad T M O. Sa'ati. Verse 20. Oh. Sa'ad. Hmm. Pillar? And I will comfort him or establish him or support. Uh, it says to sup with him. So okay. Well, him, sup with him, same thing. Yeah, I will sup, sup with him. him. Well, who in me and he with me? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read that. Verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. This particular passage is at the end of Revelation chapter 3. In Revelation chapter 3, he's given the last of his instructions to the assemblies. This is the Feast of Tabernacles. Mm. Wow. He stands at the door of our tent and he knocks. And if we open it, he'll come in and sup with us. So we go out into the tent, into the tabernacle outside, and we, and we eat and drink. We eat the word, and then we eat physical food, and we commune with him during this season. This season is about communing and supping with Yehoshua HaMashiach. He is our husband. He is the bridegroom, and we are the bride. And he counsels us to buy gold tried and refined in the fire that we might have white garments. These are our wedding garments. This feast of Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, is all about the wedding feast of the Lamb. So the ones who make it in are the ones who are zealous for Yah. Do you have the zeal that it takes to make that wedding feast? Are you distracted? Are you distracted by the cares of this life, the cares of, the cares of this world, the things that shall soon pass away? Or are you uh, focused on the things that lead to everlasting life? Hallelujah. Did you read that? Did you read that yet? Or was that translated? Did you, did you read the last verse? Okay, read it one more time. All right, the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. Yehoshua is not going to kick the door down to get your attention. 
is going to knock. He doesn't force his will on us. But to hear him knock, you have to be able to hear in the Ruach. You have to be able to hear spiritual things. So if your mind and your ears are distracted with things of the world, you're going to miss him when he knocks on the door. So to be able to hear these things, you must be zealous. You must be willing to forsake everything that distracts you from him. You must be willing to make room. Say it. Everything that is a distraction, everything that takes you away from serving him, everything that leads you and, 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 and rises the flesh up instead of the rock up, you have to be zealous enough to separate from those things in order to make this wedding feast. Amen. 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 Verse 21. Ham Nazayak. Ham Nazayak. To overcome. The one, the overcomer, the one who overcomes, the victor, the champion. Et Nenu Lashevet Et, I will give unto him or allow him to sit with me, to dwell with me. I'll kiss he upon my throne. So what's the throne? The Ark of the Covenant. This is our goal. The one who overcomes gets to sit on the throne of Yah. Okay, verse 21. Ham Nazayak, the one who overcomes to, to the overcomer. At Nenu Lashevet Et, I will allow or give him to sit with me, I'll kiss he upon my throne. Ka'ashir nezakti. Even as I overcame. Gam anoki wa'ashev. And I sat at abi. I'll kiss so with my father upon his throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 21. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as we discussed earlier, the Ark of the Covenant actually represents the tabernacle. I'm going to change everything. Okay. All right. Inside here, we have a house. Yeah, no, I just I have to outline it. You know what? I can do, probably do this. Let me see. Bear with, with me one second. Mm. I'm sorry, that's not letting me do what I want to do, but I know what I can do. You can read some comments in, in the meantime as I get this situated. Oh, yeah, I have this drawing. All right, so we don't have any comments. Okay. But RCLM said, 
today, family, I heard a still, small voice say, crash, crash, crash. I immediately thought of the markets and the economy. Mm. All right. So we have the Ark of the Covenant here, which is the throne of Yah. But if we look at the throne of Yah, oops. Yeah, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I just wish you had your picture that she showed, that showed the real Ark of the Covenant, where it shows the tent inside of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you mean from Google? Um, the one that you had, that you showed to the other congregation when you did the study. Oh, yeah, this is it right here. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. So we have the tabernacle, right? And all the way in the most holy place, we have the Ark of the Covenant. Wow. And the Ark of the Covenant. Okay, there's a photo. So I was on Google then. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay, let's do Ark of the Covenant. All right. Yeah. With the first one? The second row there? This one here? Yeah. Okay. So, Sister Crystal, uh, this should answer um, what you just put in the chat. All right, so what we're going to do, So here we have the Ark of the Covenant. Under the wings of the cherubim is the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. Where he said he wants to join with us and sup with us. Hallelujah. Sukkot. Right in the shape of the tabernacle on the throne of Yah. In order to go here, you have to be able to hear his voice and you have to be zealous for his name's sake. So if you're zealous for anything else more than this, you may not make it. Or you'll be in the outer court. But the goal is get to the throne of Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, days uh, two days ago she heard a knock like the police three or four knocks three times my husband also heard it I even posted it on Facebook no one heard anything wow. I'm like okay y'all you are welcome here at midnight hallelujah hallelujah Amen. This word is so relevant today, more than at any other time. Mm. Hallelujah. Verse 22. Me, whoever or who, I share, O Zen, lo, whoever has ears to him, Yishma et I share, let him hear, what haruach omer. La Quihilo, what the Ruach says to the assembly. Verse 22. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Ruach saith unto the assembly. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to make it short tonight. 
Let's go to Exodus 25. Exodus 25. Let's start at verse 8. The book of Exodus, chapter 25, beginning at verse 8. Mm -hmm. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. We are the sanctuary. We are the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Go ahead. According to all that I show thee, after the pattern of the tabernacle mm -hmm. and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall ye make it. And they shall make an ark of shatine wood. Shatine wood doesn't go, it, it's like evergreen wood. It doesn't, doesn't deteriorate. Right. Right. Doesn't rot. Mm -hmm. And then it's overlaid with gold. As he said, I counsel thee to buy of me gold. Right? What does the gold represent if we're the temple? Our faith. First Peter. First Peter in one and seven. The book of First Peter, chapter one, verse seven. That the trial of your faith your what? Faith, faith your faith be much more precious than gold than of gold that perish. So now when it switches over to us becoming the temple, our bodies becoming the temple, the physical materials that were used to build the old temple now take on spiritual implica implications. Now the gold is our faith. The wood is our zeal that should never fade or rot. Your zeal must be overlaid with pure gold, pure faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His words. Amen. Thumbs up the video, family. Like the video. Share the video on all of your social media platforms. We got 58 watching and one thumbs up that I gave. Okay, Exodus 25, 11. The book of Exodus, chapter 25, verse 11. And thou shalt overlay it with pure gold, within and without shalt thou overlay it, and shalt make upon it a crown of gold round about. And a crown of gold. Faith from head to toe. And thou shalt cast four rings of gold for it, and put them in the four corners thereof. And two rings shall be in the one side of it, and two rings in the other side of it. Representing the body of Yehoshua throughout the four corners of the earth. And thou shalt make staves of shatim wood and overlay them with gold. What are the staves? What are staves? These are the bars that are used to hold and carry the ark. We must be willing to carry our cross. The two wooden sticks. The two sticks. Are you going to carry your cross? Go ahead. 14. And thou shalt put the staves into the rings by the sides of the ark that the ark may be born with them. The, 
the staves shall be in the rings of the ark. They shall not be taken from it. And thou shalt put into the ark the testimony which I shall give thee. And that word must be written inside of us. And thou shalt make a mercy seat of pure gold. The tabernacle. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof. Okay. Two cubits and a half. 2.5. Go ahead. And thou shalt make two cherubims of gold. Oh, 17 oh. again. No, 17. And thou shalt make a mercy seat of pure gold. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof. Right, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof on both sides. So you got the the length and then the breadth and then the breadth. So this is 2.5, 1.5, 1.5, which equals 5.5, which Adam was promised that after 5,500 years there would be deliverance. So these measurements are confirmed in the Ark of the Covenant. Let's go to the Gospel of Nicodemus. Thanks, baby. your host, sure. His word. Hallelujah. Gospel of Nicodemus, chapter 28. There are no verses for this. All right. Let's start in the second column. Let's start at Make Thee an Ark of the Covenant. Oh, yeah, well, actually, we'll start it now. Our custom is, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. All right, we are in the book of Nicodemus in chapter 28. This is why the Hebrew Israelite scriptures has become so important because it has these extra precepts that you're not going to find in any other um, scripture that ties it all together. Go ahead. Now our custom is that every year before our assembly, we open this holy Torah and inquire the testimony of Elohim. And we have found in the first book of the 70 how that Mikael the angel spake unto the third son of Adam, the first man, concerning the 5,500 years wherein. Concerning the 5,000. And 500 and years. 500 years. Wherein should come the most beloved son of Elohim, even Hamashiach. And furthermore, we have thought that peradventure this same was the Elohim of Yisrael, which said unto Moshe, Make thee an ark of the covenant, in two, in limb two cubits and a half, and in breadth one cubit and a half, and in height one cubit and a half. For by those five cubits and a half, we have understood and known the fashion of the Ark of the Old Covenant. Mm -hmm. For that in five thousand and a half thousand years, Yehoshua HaMashiach should come in the Ark of his body. Mm -hmm. Yes! Mm -hmm. And we have found that he is the Elohim of Yisrael, yes. even the son of Elohim. Mm -hmm. For after his passion, we, the chief of the priests, because we marveled at the signs which came to pass on his account, did open the Torah and search out all the generations unto the generation of Yosef and Miriam, the mother of Hamashiach, taking her to be the seed of Dawid. Who was the seed of David? 
Miriam and Yahushua. That's where people get stuck. Go ahead. And we, Virgin birth from the seed of Dawi. And we found that from the day when Elohim made the heaven and the earth and the first man from that time until the flood are 2,212 years. And from the flood until the building of the tower, 531 years. And from the building of the tower unto Abraham, 606 years. And from Abraham unto the coming of the children of Yisrael out of Mitzrayim, 407. I reconnected. Yours? Yeah. No, that's space. Yeah, it's okay. We're back. Now. You're good. Yeah, back. Okay. Hitherto have we told no man, lest there should be a schism in our city. Lest there should be a schism. Lest they find out we've been lying to them. Mm -hmm. That sounds familiar. So the non-messianics. The scribes and the Pharisees, they hid this information, the truth, from the assemblies. Yehoshua lines up perfectly with the Ark of the Covenant, his, his time. From the time of the starting of creation until Adam and so forth. All right? All right, hitherto have we told no man, lest there should be a schism in our assemblies. And now, O excellent judge, thou hast adjured us by this holy Torah of the testimonies of Elohim, and we do declare it unto thee. And we also have adjured thee by thy life and health, that thou declare not these words unto any man <laughs> in Jerusalem. There it is. But they don't want nobody to know the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But they told Pilate, Pilatos, in secret. So with the 5,500 years, history says from The 55 starts from here. Let's look at the top again. All right. Now, our custom is that every year before our assembly, we open this holy Torah and inquire the testimony of Elohim. And we have found in the first book of the 70 how that. Oh, you mean, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> From the time afterwards. So, yes. Yeah, it's going to be about a week. But the time starts of that reckoning starts here. Okay. And we have found in the first book of the 70 how that Mikael the angel spake unto the third son of Adam, the first man concerning the 5,500 years wherein should come the most beloved son of Elohim, even HaMashiach. And furthermore, we have thought that peradventure this same was the Elohim of Yisrael, which said unto Moshe, make thee an ark of the covenant. All right, so where does the reckoning start? Hmm. Okay, here we go. And we found that from the day when Elohim made the heaven and the earth and the first man. So it starts somewhere around there. Before Adam was before Adam was created. Some of that, that time started, okay? Hallelujah. Amen. So the tabernacle is the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant is our Messiah, Yehoshua HaMashiach. It represents his return and his his coming to tabernacle with us. Let's go back to Exodus 25. Nineteen. The book of Exodus, chapter twenty-five, verse nineteen. And make one carob on the one end. And oh, 18, sleek guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, we started that. We stopped that. Do 17 here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
verse 17. And thou shalt make a mercy seat of pure gold. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof. And thou shalt make two cherubims of gold of beaten work, shalt thou make them in the two ends of the mercy seat. And make one cherub on the one end, and the other cherub on the other end. Even of the mercy seat shall ye make the cherubims on the two ends thereof. And the cherubim shall stretch forth their wings on high, covering the mercy seat with their wings, and their faces shall look one to another toward the mercy seat, shall the faces of the cherubims be. And thou shalt put the mercy seat above upon the ark, and in the ark thou shalt put the testimony that I shall give thee. And there will I meet with thee. And there. And I will commune with thee. And there I will meet with thee. And I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat. Revelation 3 again. Revelation 3. He wants to commune with us in 20. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him. And commune and will, with him. And will sup with him. Commune with him. And he with me. Hini omed ba petak with dofek. He stands, he will knock. Overdrive with and press severely. But he when you press severely, what does that mean? Embrace. Mm. When you hug somebody and you squeeze them tight, you're pressed severely against them. You it commune with them. Mm. Wow. Okay. And there I will meet with thee. And I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubims which are upon the ark of the testimony, of all things which I will give thee in commandment unto the children of Israel. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Entering into the tabernacle. He wants to commune with us in the tabernacle so that we can dwell with him on his throne. His throne is the mercy seat, the Ark of the Covenant, the Hallelujah. most holy place. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, Brother Yashan Benjamin had um, posted and said, run that back. YouTube glitched and blocked out the lesson. Um, I asked him what part exactly was he speaking of, but he has to reply, so I'm not sure. Sister Christelia commented and said, 2 Ezra 14 and 10, for the world hath lost his youth, at the times being to wax old, begin to wax old, for the world is divided into 12 parts, and the 10 parts of it are gone already, and half of the 10 part. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, family, um, we thank you guys for joining us uh, on this Shabbat Eve. We pray that this lesson was edifying um, unto you. Uh, you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Set your book down, Elliot. You too. Just set your book down, baby.
Barukata Adonai Yehovah Sebao. Blessed art thou, Yehovah Elohim of hosts. Bore Ha Shemai, creator of the heavens. Gam Ha Arts, and also of the earth. Yesh Laka, you have. Kol Ha Kowach, all the strengths. Gam Ha Oz, and all the uh, power. Amen. Bagam Kol Ha Chakma, and all the wisdom. Amen. Yes, but Yad Ka, you have in your hand. Most day, ha arts. Foundations. The foundations of the world. Called Ashir Ata Chofet. All that you desire. Ata Ose. You do. We call Harishaim and all the wicked. Ata Tikrot, you cut off. Me'al Pene, from your presence. Hallelujah. Baruch Ata, Yehoshua Hamashiach. Blessed are you, Yehoshua Hamashiach. Moshiach, Shel Bnei Yisrael. Save the children of Israel. Gam Moshiach Ata. The call Hatay Queen and also save all the uh, saints. But I have a take in your love. Hata Hatsimay, you have delivered us. Gam Badanka. Also in your blood. Ata Paitenu. Gam Bedamka. Also in your blood. Ata Paitenu. You have pardoned us. Delivered us. Delivered us. Torah Yehovah Eloheinu. Torah Yehovah our God. The Code de Marine. For all things. Baruch Atah. Blessed are you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right, family. Um, again, uh, we thank you all for joining us on this blessed uh, Shabbat Eve. Yes. yes. Uh, tomorrow, well, today, tomorrow, sundown, tomorrow, today, um, you can visit the website at HebrewIsraelitesCriptures.com and you can add it to your library. So you can uh, get the 400 Years of Slavery with the Gold Edition. We have um, the uh, Lost Acts of the Holy Apostles with new covers, Color and Fire, Black and White, Covers and Water. And we're just so grateful to have you guys here with us. Yes. We love you, we love you, we love you. We're praying for you. Um, you can support the ministry one of three ways. Cash app, dollar sign Kayashua, Zell, Kayashua at gmail.com, or the website, kayashua.com forward slash ties and offering. Click on the yellow donate button and um, Support the ministry, however, um, the Ruach leads you to, and we pray that Jehovah blesses and grants that back unto you. Shake it together, press down, and we're running over. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, family, we pray that this has also this has been a blessing, and we look forward to y'all willing joining you later on to, to this day on Shabbat for another kind of Shua for Brave Lecture during this Feast of Tabernacles. Hallelujah. 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 So with that, family. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.